Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm, uh, today, I'm, uh, it was actually a couple months ago, I saw a video from a guy called Brent Television, and he created a giant Spongebob popsicle out of foam, so today, I have my foam, and I'm going to take some extra precautions, if you do this at home, be very careful, but I suggest that you don't. And I'm also going to create a giant SpongeBob popsicle. So, here's my foam board. Like I said, be very careful if you do this. Also, I am not a very strong person, but let me just show you. This is how thick the foam is. So if I'm struggling, not because I'm not strong, I already know that. It's um, because the foam is like three inches thick. Also, um, uh, it's very dark out, and it's only like 6 p.m. at night, so... I'm first going to do it, I'm going to take off all the corners. Alright, here we go. Corner two off. Also, I'm just down in my driveway right now. Because obviously I can't cut this inside because foam dust is literally getting everywhere just out here. And I don't think it would be very fun if my parents got mad at me for cutting in the house. I don't know if I just ruined the blade or not because it just hit the driveway. We're just going to keep cutting this. So while well, Brunt did his, and he didn't try it, so if he said if he tried to make a perfect one, he'd flip out. Um, uh, I am actually going to attempt to make a perfect one, so he got all the corners chunked off. Time to carve the actual shape into it. This is going to be tough. So I don't know if you guys can see the pencil marks on here, but I have pre-drawn... The foam. I pre-drawn the shape onto the foam. Be able to carve it more easily. I also didn't buy white paint, so we're just gonna have to like draw the like teeth and stuff out onto um, the SpongeBob popsicle. So, yeah, what's fun about this is that. Um, uh, we get to make it out of foam and stuff, and not out of legit ice cream, so this will never melt. Yeah, and this is basically a craft you can have forever. I must admit, though, this is a little bit tough to cut. Like I said before, this is how thick the foam is. Yeah, 6 p.m. on a Friday night, got nothing better to do, so. I definitely just ruined the blade there. Also, keep in mind, this is not, this is dangerous. This is a box cutter that I'm using to cut foam. Also, Brent TV, if you're watching this, um, uh, please rate my SpongeBob popsicle out of 10 in the comments. 
I know that he probably won't watch this video, but just in case he does, Brent, please comment down below the rating of my popsicle out of 10. Also, the rest of you can as well. Dude, foam dust is getting everywhere. Also, yes, I um, uh, have $60 Ugg slippers. I'm also going to be painting this, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I have, yeah, I have, um, uh, yeah, like 20 bucks slippers on there, so for my mom. Finally got a piece off. Took way longer than it should have. That's a big piece, though. This is going to be taking way long, so I will see once I have this side cut out. So a long way to go. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. Alright, so I'm back. Got this side done. Yeah, let's shock off the other ones. This one, we're just going straight across to the top and bottom. Oh my god, it's going to be so I know this is dangerous when you like, cut towards me and whatnot, but it's fine. I know this may look terrible now, but once it's done, like, this will look so much better. Do not try this hard at home. Do not do what I'm doing at home right now. I mean, you can make, like, a giant SpongeBob popsicle, but, like, just don't, like, try and, like, slice it like I'm slicing it right now. So much foam dust ever. Look at the mess I've made. Look at the mess I've made right now. Alright, repositioning the camera. So, these sides are mostly done. I'm cleaning up the top here. Yeah, after this, the cutting process will be done. And we can start painting this bad boy.
All right, this side is looking a little bit better than this side. Yeah, I can clean this side up a little bit with like polishing and stuff, but it'll look good when it's done. Also, by the way, if you guys want to know where I got this, I got this from Michaels. So, yeah, if you ever want to do this, just go to your local Michaels and just pick up this stuff. Uh, my Friday night was great. I just sit back and watch TV. What did you do? Oh, I made a giant SpongeBob popsicle out of foam. Thank you very much. Sometimes I question, what am I doing with my life, you know? Just cleaning up the edges right now. So now the cutting process is done. Now it's time for the fun part to paint it. So let me get this mess cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we finished cutting out the shape. Now it's time that we open up our paints. 
first, since I did not buy any white paint, I have to draw out the eyes. I part will be red, and this will be red down here, and it will be white. Alright, I think we have everything. Let's see this. We got our paintbrush bag. First, I'm going to do something for the yellow. Well, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to draw it out. We're gonna do the yellow. Oh, they don't have caps on them. Or they don't have seals on them. Okay. Okay, they do have seals on them. There's this plastic. Dude, my hands are freezing so much. And to get these things off real quick, it's kind of satisfying, but also really painful. Okay, now it's time to start painting it. The reason I didn't get spray paint, because I would have gotten spray paint for this project, but um, uh, spray paint, I heard, eats away at some types of foam, and I didn't really want to risk it, so I just got regular paint. The fun thing is about this is that you can mess this up so badly. Once we put, like, it'll look com incomplete until we put the eyes on. The eyes are what's really going to make it. I was gonna do this earlier, but then I was just really cold, so I just got in my bed, and then it ended up being dark by the time I wanted to do this. So if you're wondering why I didn't do this in daylight, yeah. But I think since it's really cold out, I think it's like 50 or something right now. Or not 50, I think it's like 40 something. If you didn't think that we were doing the sides, then you're wrong. See, I've had this idea for actually a couple weeks now, but today was finally the day that I had like free, so I thought, why not do it today?
I'm an artist now. Oh, I'm a, a professional artist, I ask you. Oh, what do you specialize in? You just said you're an artist. Oh, I'm a, I specialize in I'm a painting sculptures of SpongeBob Hot Skulls. I'll say that that's not really art. I know that this isn't art. I'm not trying to be like good or anything. I just want to do this because it's fun and I want to film my adventure. Oh no, it's dripping down the back, it's dripping down the back, no! Should be good. All right, now back to the front. I'll do the other side later. I keep forgetting the paint's wet, dude. Honestly, I was gonna buy like three, like big three dollar tubs of like paint. We honestly don't need that much. Like if I had gotten the bigger one, like Brent did, then I would need that. But since I got a smaller one than him, I really don't. Okay, so the yellow is done for now. Now it's time for the red. I forgot the brown. Paper towel down here, dude. And the good thing about this is, like, it's not, like, 10 o'clock and I'm like, oh, I gotta go to bed. Like, this is, like, this is, like, 7 o'clock in the evening. Nice time. I still got plenty of time left, so. We're completing this tonight. Dead serious.
So you know what's funny about this? I'm uh, this one isn't gonna be perfect. One tooth is actually gonna be smaller than the other. Like the thing is, like you're not gonna like. I would be like flipping out like Brent if I tried to make a perfect one. Red down. Now it's time for the eyes. Alright guys, so here's the almost finished product of the giant Spongebob popsicle. And yeah, my dad's just going to clean off paintbrush for me. Yeah, all I have to do left is the gumball eyes. Paint those black, stick them on the popsicle. Then, and guess what? You didn't think I would actually buy one. We actually have a stick. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna tacky glue that one on, just like spray glue it to the bottom. And then we have a giant SpongeBob popsicle. I'm telling you guys, the eyes completely make it. So, yeah, let's do this. As you can see, there's the gumball eyes right here. To ask, so my plan is to take the toothpicks, stick them in the back, then push it in. And that should work. Okay, here we go with the black. This is like the exact shade of black. Cause there's like grayish or black and like lighter black, but like this is like the pure black, which is like perfect for the gumball eyes here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I don't know where to touch. Okay. By the way, if you're doing this, um, uh, it's okay to get your fingers like painted and messy. It's okay to do that.
You want some gloves so you don't get paint all over your hands? Yes, please. Chicken patty with it too? Sure. Here, stop doing it. Oh, I know you can it is also okay to wear gloves. Like I said, you could just do a free hand and get paint all over your hands, but you can also do it with gloves. Thank you, Dad. So if you don't want your hands turning a different color, then I would recommend wearing gloves. You might regret if you don't, just saying. Also, upcoming soon, if you guys want me to make a, my first Minecraft video on this channel, I'm going to get at least 30 likes on this video. Also, if you guys want me to like turn this into a series called like Crafts with Brendan or something, then I'm gonna put in the comments down below hashtag series and I'll make it happen. Here's the first gumball I done. All right, so we're just gonna leave those to dry. Just for a few minutes, and then once they are slightly dried, I'll put them on the SpongeBob Popsicle. And then I will add the stick, and then this video will be over. We'll see you guys then. take these we're gonna shove a toothpick up it the eyes will complete it so we'll have one right down here we'll have one somewhat perfect oh right there oh god no God, please. One, like, basically perfect. Right there. I told you the eyeballs complete it. Kind of looks like a derpy sponge job, but it's okay. Okay, we're just going to stick this toothpick in the foam, and then we're going to...
There we go. Everybody welcome. Derpy SpongeBob. Ah, crap. Anyway, the black's getting all over it. No! Oh, I should have taken my gloves off. No! I gotta cut this plastic. Gotta cut the stupid plastic off. Oh, there's two that come in here. I think I'm going to tacky glue these together like this, and then, yeah. I'm just gonna hold these here together like this until they bond because I know they're not bonding. Or maybe take it. Oops, wrong way. Spray that. Then spray that. No, 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 no. Keep checking. Hang on, I'm gonna go wipe this stuff off.
down back of SpongeBob. Crap. Okay, it looks like it's bonded. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report of the giant SpongeBob popsicle. I think this thing turned out absolutely incredible. I'm going to go ahead and give my rating of it. Um, uh, the eyes, not even close to perfect. The teeth, what is up with those? One's bigger than the other, and they're not even straight. The tie is perfect. But the pants, this side's basically perfect right here. And then this side's tilted down a little bit. This is far from being my perfect SpongeBob popsicle, but at least I gave it my best shot. So thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.